the Swedes are having their uh, election soon. Uh, and hang on. Sweden. In 10 days. The, uh, on uh, 10 so days. And the Sweden, yeah, 11 September. Yes, and the Sweden Democrats are doing exceptionally well. Um, seems to be the consensus, at least. Let me just pull up the article that I just pulled up a random uh, Financial Times article mm -hmm. that's talking about these things. Um, we'll see how that works out. It's a freaking cookies stuff. All right. <laughs> there we go. So. Uh, this is just a random article here. It's talking about uh, they probably have to count on. Oh, this is the wrong article. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, that's the Social yeah. Democrats. Those are not yeah. the Sweden Democrats. No. Almost the same thing, but not quite. Yes. <laughs> um, where's the article I was looking for? Maybe it's been taken down. Okay, I'm, I'm going to have to go with something else. I'm sorry. Uh, we're doing it live. I should have probably downloaded the article. So the far-right anti-immigrant Sweden Democrats are set to become Sweden's second lar largest party ahead of general elections in September, as they are now four percentage points ahead of the moderates, the country's biggest right-wing party. This was written about a week ago. Mm. A little over a week ago. Yeah, it goes a bit back and forth because on the on the but it, because as you guys know, uh, most polls are fake and gay. So, what can you do? <laughs> but the people who believe in these uh, polls seem to be very afraid of the Sweden Dem Democrats. Yeah, of course they represent uh, you know something that is nominally not you know screaming rainbow flag uh, progressives so that means that they are satan himself of course <laughs> now um for those but of I you see, who... i see by the way like the, some of the norwegian coverage it's actually not as negative as i would have expected it to be uh, i mean if say if this had happened like four years ago i think it would have been a lot worse but uh i mean of course you see in the comments and stuff there's a lot of paranoia still but I think there's a sort of consensus, even among the Norwegian media class, that the Swedish kind of immigration integration experiment has not been a great success. And that's something they don't want to talk too much about. But um, I mean, they still kind of. I think they struggle to uh, to find enough kind of sort of pejoratives. I don't know if you had that impression, Walrus. Yes, it's <clears throat> it's <laughs> it's becoming hard to not recognize that they're onto something. I think that's the problem. Um, because the Norwegian media has spent too long and, and in general the, the Overton window in Norway has spent too long trying to get keep itself away from becoming uh, Sweden is usually the words that's, uh, that's being used in terms of immigration etc so when you finally get a party that's anti-immigration and you have a track record of talking about well we, we don't want to become Swedish and you have a party that's saying we want to move away from from where we're at now it's going to be a bad look if you start start saying that that's a bad thing right i mean not not that usually journals care um for those of you who are uh, are from uh, from the continent or maybe are not aware of the Sweden Democrats think uh, i suppose you can think alternative for Deutschland would that be correct leo Oh, did we lose him? We might have, we but it but it is correct. It is the it is the equivalent in Sweden, right? Meaning that they are like chemically sanitized for any actual hard right elements. Correct, right? Uh, ultimately, yes. I I think anyone would would call them quote unquote containment, but. They're usually these kinds of parties usually find themselves as the only one pushing against immigration. So, by virtue of that, they just become a target, really. Yeah, I mean, the... oh, he's back. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm back. Uh, the, uh, something happened here. I, I have no idea what, but uh, I, I, I died at the time. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that, that's, that's true in a sense that they might seem con uh, slightly going into containment because, well, they, they kind of purged a lot of a lot of the more unsavory elements and stuff like that over time and but i don't know i think people in general don't really have a problem with them it's like yeah whatever this is mostly you just know the chattering classes that are you know shitting themselves that these people are going to get uh, some kind of uh, influence and power over the this, the uh, machinery of state which they all rely upon <laughs> right so uh, the blue check marks are so it's the the, the the old fear that they will be ousted from the uh, from the troth, so to say. So that being said, um, if they're looking to become the second biggest party, do they have any potential of, of, of getting into power, or are we going to see a, a case where sort of every every other party bands together to keep them out? What do you think the the fallout of this is going to be, Leo? And he's gone again. I think I'll see if I can do something on my end to. Uh... He's being targeted. Yes. Yeah, I'm being I'm being contained. <laughs> yeah. Did you did you hear what I said? I heard what you said. I I think that um, it depends a little bit of how how far they go. I mean. The thing is that the, the blue block or the, the tacitly, you know, right wing block with the moderates and the Christian Democrats, they, they have essentially relied on, uh, you know, unofficial support by the Sweden Democrats for years in certain, to be able to fight back against the, um, the, uh, the oh. communist block of various crypto and outright communists. Um, and uh, the problem that they will have, that also local media has been talking quite a lot about, what are, what are the moderates going to do now when they are no longer like the second largest? They are going to slink down. I think the, the implication is that they will become the, the third largest party. The, 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 the question is really just how will the numbers stack up? Right. Because it's, it's, uh, they also have, the they have no idea. Like, really. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. also the moderates have the, the the eternal problem that they have essentially no new ideas. They are, they're all ideas that didn't work, and their party leader leadership has the, you know, charisma of a slightly, a slightly uh, half rotten cod. <laughs> it's like nobody <laughs> liked that guy. It's like no, he's all like he's he's. The most fun thing also that that the guy is also a manlet. He's like one fifty five tall. <laughs> and he, and it's a small. It's a, it's a little rat just running around. He also, also behaved like. Him? Can we do a, a quick physiognomy check on him? What, what was his name? Uh, let's see here. Can I just uh, search Sweden Is it Ulf uh, Christensen? Oh, yeah, right, Ulf Kristersson, yeah. I just call him the rat, so I forget what 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 his, uh, what his name is. Ulf Kristersson, let's see here. Oh, just gonna yeah. Google the height here, because Google knows how tall everybody is. <laughs> oh, it's actually 169, I mean, uh, Ooh, that's a little bit better. <laughs> a woman in this photo, hang on a moment. <laughs> Let me see if I can pull this one up. Um, open image in new tab. Okay, here we go. And here he is. I'm not sure who these people are, but he's smaller than all of them, and two of them are women. Yeah, that's the, so. some of the party. If you go left from right, the, uh, the, the slightly red head is the uh, leader of the center party. Uh, the guy to the right of the guy in the blue suit, who is uh, Kestron, is uh, the old uh, leader of the liberals. And the girl on the right, or whatever, she's like 35 or something, uh, is the party leader of the Christian Democrats. But I, I see where you go. I mean, he really does have the globalist aura, doesn't he? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. He, 
I mean, we were talking about the man when he was uh, he was chairing like the uh, social board. He was in, in Stockholm, essentially working for you know uh, the Department of Social Affairs or something like that, whatever you should call it. Uh, he uh, he uh, managed some old foundations that is supposed to give you know like old. Uh, uh, government controlled all the foundations that own property in central Stockholm and were in foundations set up to give like old, uh, you know, poor widows and uh, uh, handicapped people uh, access to uh, central, uh, centrally located uh, flats. Ah, yes. And he just uh, made sure that he could get hold of those friends of his could get hold of those. His kids got, uh, got Everybody like... Everybody gets an apartment. Uh, yeah, more or less, you know, instead of, you know, poor old widows and pensioners with no, you know, who well, have a problem having a home. So this man is, you know, complete, you know, a moral vacuum, really. Yeah, yeah. I uh, noted this guy down on then, my, I uh, so I noted this guy down on my elite fennel Swede list. Do you think he belongs there? Maybe I should take him off uh, if he's like five, uh, seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perhaps. I mean, like like many people in uh, in his uh, in his class, he's he's one of those who fails upwards. Mm. He keeps having scandals and 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 failed projects, but he still he's yeah, still yeah sort small of just things, climbing but, you know, the ranks. Uh, when, when you're you know, when you're that hot for power, or well, at least uh, the perception that you have power, then then you're willing to you know to endure anything and just get out there. So. So he's getting in front of things that people in his party doesn't want to, and therefore he can. <laughs> right, right. Uh, Ted Kaczynski asks, "What's the conversation about right now?" Uh, sorry, if you're you're getting in a bit late, we're we're discussing the upcoming election in Sweden, just touching on on some developments and the fact that the Sweden Democrats, the quote unquote far right uh, party of the nation, is set to to do a lot better than everyone expects. Yeah, but getting back to the to, to the original quote, I think the or the original question rather, I think that the uh, we'll just have to see how how badly how how badly they win. <laughs> I <have> to say <laughs> to see what kind of coalition is coming in there, because if the if the uh, if the right wing coalition managed to take some some real estate from the from the communists, then uh, then they kind of have to. Enter into a coalition with the uh, with the Sweden Democrats uh, if they want to to take power, and I think that uh, they want to do that. So, but you never know. You never know. Uh, weird are the workings of the polit politi political landscape in this country. Uh, sometimes it's just like, what are they doing? <laughs> Please God, what are they doing? <laughs> well, you know. A lot of them don't know what they're doing, and the the few who do are probably evil. So, yeah, yeah. Rats. All of them, more or less. I mean, even if they aren't, you know, like quote unquote evil, they are at least, you know, spineless opportunists. Most of them. So mm -hmm. that and that's kind of. I, I didn't meet people. Uh, I didn't meet people at the event who who talked about their experiences with people they knew who who entered into either labor or. Uh, or a, a conservative, uh, the conservative party, and how that sort of how these political parties are just machines for producing psychopaths, really, uh, who are willing to to do anything to to get in power, and uh, that explains a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, the um, I also see here the the subheading of the uh, the little thing here is also doing some weird thing. It's a far right populist party wants forbidden in Sweden due to its neo-Nazi ties. That's not really not really true. The, having neo-Nazi ties or being neo-Nazi doesn't mean that you are forbidden to act as a, as a political organization in Sweden. They, right. they were once marginalized. They were pu pushed to the, the fringes. Yeah, I don't know what uh, publication this is, to be honest. This is just something I found since my original article apparently mm. got yeeted maybe your um, translation or is this the original uh, text? I, I don't know i i had to fall back on just googling and see what, what came up um 
So, uh, so this might be, you know, a, a, a bit of a third degree source kind of thing. Anyway, I think uh, we've spent enough time on that. Let's, uh, uh, we wanted to have a quick chat on, uh, we have to do some rank punditry on one, uh, Andrew Tate, is that the name? 